Hi, thank you for joining us for another one of Family Marine's videos. My name is Corey, and today we're going to talk a little bit about engine horsepower on pontoons. One question that we get quite a bit uh, from people who are just starting to look at pontoons, especially, is what kind of horsepower do I need on my pontoon? And the answer really depends on you, the buyer, as far as what do you want to use the boat for and what size of pontoon are you looking at? Are you going to get a twin tube, regular two tube pontoon or are you thinking of going to a tri-tune and getting a little bit more performance out of it? So when it comes to horsepower, all pontoons have a, a Coast Guard plate in them somewhere, all boats do for that matter, that says the maximum horsepower that that boat is rated to. So as you can see on that sticker that we just showed you, the maximum horsepower rating on this boat right here is 350 horsepower. <clears throat> it's a 23 foot triple tune pontoon. Does that mean that you have to put 350 horsepower on it? No. What it does mean is that you cannot put anything over 350 on it. You would not want to put a 400, for example, on this boat that's rated to 350. So this being a 23 foot triple tune, uh, would it be a good idea to put a 115 on it? Probably not. The boat won't really do anything. I mean, the 115, it'll just be a, a putt putt boat and it'd be a lot of money to spend on a boat that you really can't do anything with. You wouldn't need the triple tune at that point. Um, but you could certainly put a 200 on this boat or a 250 or a 300 and still get some pretty nice performance out of it. In fact, we have a Mercury V6 200 on this boat in our showroom. It's still going to be a top end, um, probably between 35 and 40 mile an hour boat. It's going to give you some nice low end torque for pulling kids tubing and skiing. Um, and you'll be able to do that with some number of people on the boat, you know, four or five, six people. It'll, it'll handle that pretty well. Uh, so what does the 350 do for you on a boat like this over the 200? Well, it's going to go faster. You know, all of a sudden it might be a 50 mile an hour pontoon, uh, maybe even a little more, depends on the load of the boat. And it would have all the torque you need with a fully loaded boat and then some. You know, if you like to drive fast and you want to hammer it and you got 10 people on there and you want to throw them back in their seat, that's really what a 350 or even a 300 would do on this size boat. Uh, but a lot of what goes into that rating is the structure of the boat uh, in the back, the transom area, the number of cross members they have. It's not just the size of the boat. So if you look at one 23 foot boat like this one that's rated to 350, and you may go look at another manufacturer's 23 foot boat and it's rated to 200, or maybe even the, uh, the same line in this manufacturer from Berletta, um, in a Cabrillo series, you know, 22 foot would be rated to 200. Uh, they just don't have as much structure back there, and that's by design. Um, goes into the cost point of the boat, price point, and, and all that good stuff. But if you want the performance, uh, you know, then certainly the higher horsepower, especially on a triple tune. But what if you don't want the performance? What if you want to buy a two tube pontoon and it's just two of you and you're on a small lake, you know, you want a 20 footer? We get a lot of people that come in and say, well, I just really want a 40 horse or a 50 horse. And that's fine, and those motors are offered, but one thing to keep in mind on a modern pontoon is that the modern pontoon is heavier than an older pontoon. So even a pontoon built you know, in the early 2000s, or for sure before 2000, back in the 1990s and prior, uh, the, they're not going to have as much structure. The furniture is going to be a lot lighter on those older boats. So. You may have been on a 1995 pontoon with a 50 horse and had four or five people on there and could pull you know, a little kid that weighs 40 pounds on a tube. If you take a modern 20 foot pontoon with that 40 or 50 horse motor and put the four or five people on there, it might not pull that tube very well. Just the overall boat is heavier. Uh, the other thing to keep in mind is uh, even if you are on a smaller lake and it's pretty calm out there, what happens if the wind does come up or if a storm comes up? 
Uh, you want to be able to move and get out the lake fairly quickly if you need to, especially even you know against the wind. So we a lot of times will recommend to that person that wants a 40 or 50 horse that you know you might want to think about a you know a 90 or a 115, as long as the boat is rated for that horsepower. Many older boats were only rated up to 60. Older pontoons, a lot of those you know 20 and 22 footers now are rated up to 115 or even higher. Um, so we do a lot of 90s and 115s. On a two-tube pontoon, if you look at like these over here, 20 and 22 footers uh, with a 115 horse motor, you can certainly pull a tube uh, with a 115 behind a 20 or 22 foot pontoon. So this boat being a 22 foot pontoon, two-tube with a 115, Top end speed's going to be probably in the mid 20 mile an hour range. When we say top end, that's with a light load, one or two people, uh, maybe only a quarter tank of gas or a half tank of gas, but somewhere in the mid 20s. You can certainly pull a tube there. You could maybe do it on this pontoon with a 90 horse also, would save you a little bit of money. That's always the other thing that comes into play when talking about horsepower on a pontoon or any other boat is, you know, there's always a price jump to upgrade to the next horsepower level motor. But I can tell you this, no one ever wishes they had less horsepower on their boat once they get it in the water. So that's something to consider too. Um, let's go look at this one. This is a 22 foot model again. And this boat happens to be a triple tube. So the same size as the last boat, but it does have a 150 on it. This particular 22 footer is rated up to 200. Uh, on this one we have the 150. The 150 is a great motor on this boat. You can do the water sports, you can get the performance. You're not going to get quite the level of performance that you would get with the 200. Uh, so it would be a little more economical than the 200. But, but certainly uh, still has some of those performance characteristics. So it just kind of comes down to you, the buyer, on, you know, to answer that question, how much horsepower do I need? It really does depend on how you want to use the boat, what you're going to be doing with it 80% of the time versus 20% of the time, and do you want to spend the extra money for that extra horsepower for maybe the one or two holiday weekends where you're really going to want it? And that answer is going to be different for everyone, but uh, those are just a few things to consider when you're considering how much horsepower to put on the back of a pontoon. Uh, if you have any other questions on that, you can certainly give us a call here at Family Marine or call your local dealer and they'll have recommendations you know based on the boats that they sell the brands they sell and some of the different performance characteristics between different boats and motors uh, our number here is 320-222-2628 or certainly check us out on the web at www.familymarineboats or go to our youtube channel just go to youtube and search for family marine boats wilmer and you can find us there also you can also text us at 320-222 2628. Thank you and thank you for watching.